in towards Banana. You can remain very dangerous here. This Dexter is just that hold on from CT, but now Exit finds Mir. The smoke down towards CT, the B bomb site shouldn't be holding too much longer for Team Spirit. Of course, the smoke's giving them a lot of control here. Now just have to find some Dai Young, who is very dangerous towards the end of that previous round. Right now, just holding on towards new box. He's going to be checked, but he's going to drop the bomb as well. And that might just be able to buy them enough time for the rest of Spirit to come in. And who knows what those Eagles can still get as Chopper finds SHZ and might be able to find one more here from CT. Uh, Exit gets a big kill, swinging out towards a coffin's position, making sure it's two and a third, and chopping out the last one left. And for a moment there, things did look like movement was being created. The four and three advantage, couple of players getting tagged up here and there, but Exit just being able to get an ace overall, just hunting those eco frags. And Tizian goes for the fight, but straight away, but he's in with a headshot. And now Tapson nipping at the heels, trying to get in behind. The flash is so good for Santares. Three kills from Tapson. He goes back in for a 4K, and Tapson finds them all. Tapson is hyped as hell right now. Back on line and back in a big way as he gets the ace on the hold. The flash was fantastic, but how about the aim and just how quick these kills oh. are? It's so efficient on every kill early. He has to get the quick headshots to be able to transfer. We've got the Mac 10s, Galil. It's a bit of a bonus for EG at this point. Let's see if Twists can make it costly right out of the gate. Olaf oh, was supposed no. to be the bait and the trajectory of the nade. They know you're there. He's doing the flashbang dance. He's not long for this world. It's Mihu with a double opening into our fourth round of play. They're scrambling right now. What can FaZe do? Carrigan's going to push up towards short. Rain's looking for info over towards Palace. Carrigan going to be the first man to find contact here. That's a double upgrade as well. Roki on that AWP is going to have to hope that Rain and Kerrigan can at least make a competitive round out of this. Otherwise, he's just going to be forced to save that AWP. But think about all the places Broki has to watch right now. They can come up connector, they can boost window and a ramp. He has to worry about all of that. He has left Upper Creek without any kind of a paddle. You almost kind of hate that Rain's in Palace. I mean, he's, he's there to contest A, but it leaves a lot open for poor Broki and that AWP. The fact that Cirque hasn't moved a muscle, by the way, kind of odd, considering the MAC-10. He's got a Desert Eagle, that enables him to take that jewel. Still cheeky though, and Carrigan, he's thinking about it. Oh, Cirque does get tested. Here comes Mihu, number three, locked in. And now I'm afraid the conversation will be more about saving than it will be about doing... Oh, they know the Orcs play. damage, and he's just fired off a warning shot. They're not going to let that go easy, are yeah, they? Yeah, Stan's going to start calling the hunt right now. They've got two MAC-10s, or they had two MAC-10s. Cirque's still wielding that Deagle right now. They, they may as well hunt, try and take this AWP away. Smart, smart boy. Even delaying the plant just a little, Oboe crawls to connect her. Surely you want to try and break that palace with at least a Mac-10 and the Galil. Well, the 40 seconds have started now, right? And Oboe's pretty close. You can see the chase. Look at the radar right now. They're just all fanning out through middle. Pushing towards spawn is Mihu. Stan's going through the underpass just to be certain. Cirque backing up. And Breezy, well, he's clearing out over towards Kitchen. They can invest these lighter weapons. Oh, Cirque's found himself an M4, so maybe it is just Stan. But he's still hanging around towards B, looking for another upgrade. They've got peanuts in the bank account, dude. I guess they're more than happy here, but Mihu's starting to clamp on in. He's coming through spawn. Oboe's over towards ramp. It has to be Palace. They has know. Yeah, uh, I mean, walking into that AWP line is not going to be fun. As soon as that bomb explodes, I expect to see a couple. Oh, even the smoke. The they can't flash. really challenge. She's got vision. Misses his shot. Oboe might take a chance. Oh, and they have found oh. the most of them. Oh, and it's the ace. Ouch. Me who takes all five and FaZe have got nothing but peanuts and pocket lint to spend into the next. Oh, that is huge. That was methodical. For a moment there, it looked like they were just going to pick up the bigger guns. But let's see this one again. Me who with the opening. You're right. The grenade trajectory, simple as you like. He didn't get flustered. He didn't try and jump. He just took the fight. Carrigan caught off by the timing. Smoke lands. Again, perfect for me who. And then on this chase, hello, back's turned. I'll take the ace and those guns. Oh, that's amazing. And that was through the smoke as well. He pushed straight through it. Mirage, of course, anything is possible at that rate as well. We could even see Renegade showing us a bonkers oh! performance on Mirage as well. And if Alistair continues with his AWP like that, then Mirage will be very, very strong for them, I'm sure. Jeez, what a start Just again. Yeah. Just feeling it. Just wanting to play aggro. Looking hungry for the opening pick in for another one. And that's going to be another multi-kill coming out for Alistair. MIBR, they've got to be able to try and force them off angle with some util. Yeah, yeah again. Just continuing on. And surely this is now going to be 18 here as Alistair looking for the ace of the AWP. He manages to do so as well. What a way 
to come back into this. Now towards the longhouse for the CT side. We'll suppress them initially. AWP of Snacks watching from short. So the first gets the kill in like Snesno. That's a hell of a start here for the CT side. Dropping one of those AKs immediately. Molds will pick it back up though. And a second shot for Slacks. Catches him all the same. So, five on three. Sprout, look good again. It's a lot of kill and retreating coming through from Slacks. Very difficult. Team 1 are, are finding of trading out this orb because anytime he just takes a pick, he's just always falling back to reposition, playing out to safety, and they just wide swing him. They're out of options at this point. They're trying everything to trade out this orb, and they just can't do it. Yeah, every position that Slacks has gotten to, he's gotten a kill for it. First aggressive short, then passive short, then passive uh, car. Team 1 have given up these individual fights and basically given up the round for it. Maluki tagged PRT scene. Cressy. I'm going to kill on the man just yet. The incendiary and flashes will definitely be there to support it though and try and suppress where the Team 1 are coming from. Either way, this should be a round that goes the way of Sprout as Slacks gets his quadra involved. Cressy will get picked up and it's ace time for Slacks. Indeed it is. Five kills for him. Sprout back within two. Yeah, Team 1 just... Really filtering themselves up towards the upper. Good sequence coming in for Slacks, holding his ground and not really getting baited by any of those jiggle peaks either. Look at him. Six is straight up this mid. This is crazy, man. And she's in lower tons. They're just throwing caution to the wind. I honestly did not expect this out of our first map to get today with these boys from LDLC. They're all staring at the floor. They're going shopping for a pistol. Hatchie's just pushing in. He'll take them all. Anyone else? Oh, Three, three, three. <laughs> He's playing Call of Duty, oh, folks! Hey. He's playing Call of Duty on these boys! I don't even know! 360 Deagle to finish ace as well from Hadji on the eco. Oh, man. It, it, I mean, it, yeah, sure. Stomp the eco, but do it with style. Doesn't let them get any confidence, any confidence points at all. Let me see that one again. <laughs> Have impact. You don't want to play like Valde not having an impact in the rounds. Round progression not going to work out perfectly, but they do at least get the trade. But that's still going to keep OG down a player, and Runny Kids now look very, very comfortable. I like the idea there of having those two players stacked. It's going to be awkward to clear up both of those close angles. Unfortunately, though, they're unable to get away with more than just the one for one trade. And now with 45 seconds oh. remaining, it's is sneaking into the smoke. Yeah, he's trying to get out and do Alexi B, but it's not going to work out. And now Runner gets going for the quick play. Three through Hunt and Nico. He's going to get taken out immediately. Mansu coming in with one as well. And he's going to get a double 3k from Mansu. Sprays them all down. And now he's looking for the ace. All five from Mansu is up for grabs. But if he peeks into the angle, the AWP of Alistair is holding it. He knows he's got the time advantage here, Mantu. And if he slows it down completely, Alistair could think he's gone up elsewhere. And because he's heard the vent drop, he's going to go down to B. And Mantu realizes that. Alistair's going to have some time to plant the bomb here. And Mantu's going to be running. Now, cuts all sound. Shift key held in. And now he gets down in towards the double door. Alistair's changed out to the right position. Mantu's not spotted him. Finally will. Alistair scope. Rings out and gives him the position, and now Mantu trying to bit the shot out. He's done that very well. Spots the head. Missed shot to Malister, and Mantu's done it. All five to close out the half here for OG. It's been a strong start for running kids, and I'm looking forward to seeing if they can do more heading into the second half. Mantu securing the defuse, locking it in, and OG lead the way. Holds easy stuff. Headshots from Stan doubled up, and it's going to be Robs and Frozen just trying to save the day. Robs giving it a go, though. <laughs> and he may make this happen after all. Mouse Sports in a two on two out of nowhere. Frozen's coming in on the big rap. He's going heaven. He who's considering it, but he doesn't know the timing. And that bomb is still down. Yeah, man, look at how paranoid Mihu is, and with good reason. You know, you saw these outside smokes earlier. Either it was a complete fake, or there is someone sneaking up on you. And of course, we know that Frozen is down here in hell, but they're just missing one another. <sighs> no, nope. oh, he's still, yeah, he's suspecting. But they don't you know. know. But... And if they try to take this bomb up, they're not oh. going to like what they find. Oh, the timing! No. Rops has got it, and he's on for the ace now. Just Stanislaw left. Rops, come on, get all five. And there it is, the ace for Rops. Back on land and a smile on his face. He puts up all five to find Mouse Sports that round there. Oh, my goodness. This guy's a beast, Also, Harry. that was a 2v5 with the ace from Rops. Yeah. Like, what? That felt like a cleanup. That felt like a done deal. 
Oh my goodness, the precision. Mihu as well, right? He's getting baited. I think Frozen was spamming or, or you know, trying to draw distraction outside. Mihu was completely looking at the wall there. Didn't know whether to play for the railing, play for the ladder. Just getting pulled either which way. And that is a, a heartbreaker of a round to lose. EG with an instant tactical timeout. <sighs> Figure that one out, boys. Don't yeah, let right. that happen again. No, and that's not the kind of round that you're happy about slipping away from you, right? It's no. not like there was, uh, there was like, you know, you had this sick flank from Frozen that like comes in. Nip. Maybe a flash through that window. Happens yeah. to setting it up. Definitely a flash through that window. And oh, Stewie oh. might be blind, but Grim is here. And Grim's like, don't worry, Stu. Oh. Get down, Mr. President. And he's opened up with four. Grim's Grim farming. on a tear, bro. This guy, he's been waiting for that, hasn't he? Grim is a monster, 23 and 9, and on for the ace in this anti-eco round. This is unbelievable. Like, Grim should not be, you know, this uh, lucid on land right now. He's in a 5 on 1, but it feels like a 1 on 1. He's running the kill. He's chasing Ampus for the ace. Yeah, it's wild. And this is where this idea of, like, you know, it's been so long since land that, uh, you know, you don't really know how the pressure's going to do to some people. You don't know if it's going to make or break Especially them. someone like Grim, who exactly. hasn't played land with his team. Right? And and so, you know, you look at this right now. Look at the guys he's with. That, these guys are... Ace. There it is. All five, baby. Grimothy. I was going to say, look at the guys he's with, bro. These are these are faces of land in NA and Brazil, you know? And, and he's here. He's the guy we're talking about right now. It feels like land's pumping him up more than ever. Yeah, all well, the more reason to perform, right, with your team uh, like this. Want to make a statement, want to make an impression, and this is one way to do exactly that. 12 to 6, though, right? We've just been dealing with the anti -e But You start to get a little more panicky. 15 rounds feels very, very different yeah. to 14. There's still a chance of a comeback in regulation at this point. Nice. And with Device on his AWP, as mentioned in that first half, never saw one for the, uh, the NIP squad. Now CT side, he's donning it in all his glory. He's gone back to long. He's going to be able to escape as well. Fallen's not peaking this angle just yet. So Device posts up for a kill. There's surely no way he can die in this position. Even if they flash him, he'll take a shot and disappear. But even he doesn't want to hang around forever, right? You know the timing of that toilet to walk. You know without res actually covering anything. He's just holding it close short. They can walk up on you from long side. So... Ice falls out, Fallen's looking for picks. He's shown that AWP on A. Now he's going to try and move it around, go back to long perhaps. But he's already too late to this position. Device is out. Look at the dirty double setup of Res and Device as well. That's not going to be fun to get through. Three players on the A site. The read is there for Nip. And Liquid look like they're committing. Device going to be this first point of contact, playing aggro in toilets. It's also the uh, the makings of a bait and switch here, where Device makes first contact. Oh, second contact. Oh, third. Device on for the ace. He opened the round up with one, and then has torn this A play oh, apart. Device no. is chasing it down. The mind of a hunter. Look at this. Fallen. You've got to be ready, because out here in mid, you've met your match. You've met your maker. It's Device with an ace to put that round on the board for NIP. Okay, now they're feeling it. Now they're waking up. Nip back in with a vengeance. Uh, we've had so many clips today, Harry, and we were only in the first map. And it's map the first map. I'm freaking out. Aces for K's, Grim going crazy, Device now on the AWP. What's not to love about this matchup? Double digits for Nip. Suddenly... AWP still aggressive up towards 51. Needs to look out towards that right-hand side because there's players near the smoke. Oh, the Hobbit's caught an angle. Gets the core to drop. Back to even to be going. The Farney traded back by Frozen, though, who transfers his spray to Shiro. Just behind that smoke down to 5 HP. He remained, but a 4 on 2 advantage now for Mouse Sports. Uh, that was a very good return in towards that ramp position just when the AWP of Acor just gets caught off, just can't quite find the connection, especially when he's getting spammed up like that. The Frozen bails the situation. 60 seconds left. How did Gambit recover this? Will the Mouse Sports get there first on the CT side? I mean, Hobbit and Inters will still go for something. Molotov into the sandbag position, indicating where at least one player is. A second Molotov for Inters does not want to be thrown so nonchalantly especially as they know that it's not been uh, 
Anybody out there in the back nades in. Frozen is too far back, though. They can't place it to the sniper's nest. Cross that bomb. Should get it planted at least. Uh, just get that extra cash injection. Try and see if they can force a mistake. They've still got a fair bit of time to work with, though. Smoke. Ooh, not thrown there for into. This is going to wait. Go for a dry plant as they realize there is nobody out there. Finally smoke down the main position. Molotov, that well placed on Frozen. So they drive a bit of breathing room back. The bomb should go down. Into should remain roughly on scales, and indeed he does. So decent setup for the retake. It all just comes to these flashes of the Hobbit. How does he even use this light utility? Smoke down. Side alley. Burst through. Hobbit going to wait on the off angle. Ready for two. Gets the kill on the first man. And the second and the third. Lined up easy. And straight from the shy, he gets an ace. What's the hold from him, and what's the recovery for Gambit? Sorry, what was that, Mouse Sports? Two clutches out in that first map? Yeah, Hover's going to do it for Gambit. Oh, it makes it look too easy. Another great recovery, a 2v4 situation, and they all line up. What an off angle. Yeah, this was very awkward for Mouse Sports. They kind of gave this one away. Didn't have much to work with in the utility department. Of course, going to get tagged up instead. 12 points of HP for him. Still needs that T-side backup to make their way in from the brackets. Frozen's trying to try and cut them off. b swings back, gets the kill on Shiro. So drops him back to a four versus four. Orb still fires and there's nothing else seen for the T-side line. Do they think this MAC-10 is just a lurker? But they're going to just try and drive Acor out of the site itself. Just try and get him even lower than where he is. And they're just desperate for a pick. They're really slowing this down. Oh, committed to this. Axile ready for a swing. Back Hobby gets his kill. Axile dealt with three versus three. And now the A-side is kind of theirs. But b is still looking to scream. Get three kills in this one. Bomb trying to get towards the site. M4 sees them on the cross. Can catch off information on Inza. I don't know if they saw him or the same. Nafani goes falling next as BMAS gets his quadra. It's all Inters now. Galil in hand. Weakened weapon, but still isolating these picks, but not making it work. BMAS gets the ace. Burns to Inters Molotov as well. And a really well played short hole from him. He became the difference. Consistency with streaks. Hobbit very aggressive here in the bedroom. Looking the wrong way as Rops. Rest with the AWP of a core into the apartments and Hobbit. No idea what to expect in that one. Great opening frag again from Outsports. And they did that again in the last round. Gambit being forced back in the 4v5. So you've got to give a lot of credit over to this international squad for getting so many opening man advantages. A slow, slow walk in here from the Gambit side. They're going to start making their way into the apartments definitively. Finally with the AK. In back. Into Ali's back. 60 seconds, and there's three CTs to hold it here. Core and Rops. In particular, the first entry back out. Nafani caught. Rops lines up two. Bombs dropped. That's round. Uh, Axel and Shiro just hoping for an absolute miracle, but really, you're right about it. This is round. Axel's trying to make a little bit of a play out for the apartments itself. Rops is Ooh. just going to be able to isolate oh. a couple of pigs. Make it another ace. What is going on with these aces? UGs as well. So it's a better buy definitively for mouse sports, but Gambit. They have found plenty of force by in the past. Dexter kills off the first player. Can't quite hold on to that second, so the trades are good. And more nades going down towards the apartments. May actually drive the T-side forward, at least for Nafani. Frozen. Heard. Nafani knows that he's there. The drop off, however, still takes the face in as the jump comes through from Frozen, but no kill for him. They will go a little bit too far out, though. They're trying to drive a core away. They thought Frozen might have rotated instead. There is a lurk right up towards the chair position for the T side, but the majority of presence is out here in the apartments. Oh, turning away at the wrong moment. Of course, letting the finally cross. Flashbangs and Molotov still coming forward for them, though. HT's out as well. Crossfire with the AUG. Lands on the first player. But Nafani looking for Axile. Next, not quite going as well. The M4 again this time on his peak away here for a court. Three versus three, and it's still a little under 60 seconds. There's time to work with for Gambit, and they could rotate to A. The Hobbit's making a bit of a play into Connector, so just slowing the whole round down. But Bemis has got the backstab. And then not going to offer it up. Ooh, backs are turned. Hobbit sees the man, gets some tags off, but Bemis gets the kill in and out, re re removes any of the mid control that Gambit could have had here. Deagle still set for sure to try to get the trade in. Not the best angling against Bemis, though. And the Galil gets another kill. It's all left to Axile. Ace clutch for him. He's found two in this round. He's to get three more. Good shot on a core, at least. Comes up good. Still tagged heavy for him. And Rops on the site here with his own AUG. Ready to deal with the last man. It just comes up to one good kill. Ten seconds left for it. But Axile's got it to a one versus one. I just get the bomb down. Beam is coming in quite quickly. Both players on 28 points of health. We've seen two aces from Mouse Sports in this series. Are we going to see two aces from Gambit now? One found by Hobbit over on Vertigo. A chance for Axel to do the same right here. Beamass 
seen. Oh, the timing's awkward. Turned away from when does the sound cue come out? There. Just heard. Back scene. Axel, here's the tap. And he's seen his man. He's got the ace. What a clutch. Two for two for Gambit and now Sports. They still are forced by back. Close. Rush has no idea just how close he was to drawing blood there. Both in crosshair placement and damage done. It's Blame's chance. <laughs> Finishes the job. Hunter's gone. Nexus low. They look to be turning up the heat. And Nico does exactly that with a bottle of flame. Not only that, isolating Rush. And advantage now for complexity. And as discussed, this starting to feel like a mandatory CT conversion. Oh, whoa, whoa, playing with fire. He's actually tagged up Blame in the smoke. He won't have heard it. Jax has walked on through as well. Good find. It's only Jax and Amanek now, and it looks like Complexity have done enough. Blame on for an ace four in his bag of tricks already. Good to see Blame coming online as well. They're going to let him go for the fifth here. Add to that tally of aces we've had today, or are they going to play this one conservative? Give it to him. He takes it. Blame all five as he picks up a must win. Well, unless I've missed something on the other stream, that's the seventh ace for the day, which is just wild. I could have sworn, and I may be, I could be wrong here. I swear I've seen full events where it's like ace count two. You yeah, know, like, that does happen from yeah. time to time, right? This is today has just been phenomenal. And a lot of the aces, I would have. Oh, catwalk. Blame catches that doors player. Amanek tucked in tight, but it's Nico that could be exposed here. Oh, very quick reactions from the Kovac. Now Poison, he's vulnerable. There's so many players though, they're all gonna come into action. The nice reaction. Oh, Nico popping off the only weapon in play. And now he's on for an ace clutch. So many bodies, so many different angles, and he gets them all. Bombs underneath him. JKS has to come to him. And he's aware. Nico's looking the right way. Oh, Nico. Oh, Nico, you are unreal. Nobody does it like him. Oh my god. Bomb control has been fine for Na'Vi so far throughout this CT side. Oh, oh nice shot from Simple. Alistair goes for the fight. Unable to get the kill. And Simple isn't happy with one. He wants oh, even more. And he gets the shot through the oh. door. Another shot lands. Simple looking for it. He finds a headshot. Simple just taking over right now. Oh, he's going for more, Dingo. Oh. He's going for more. Simple's hitting all the headshots with the orb, and it's gonna be the ace. Simple puts Na'Vi to 15. He just fights everyone. Certainly seems to think so. There's the opener twist. A lot of pressure is on you now. The fate of phase okay. resides okay. on Twist, and he's not crumbling under the pressure. Oh, on for the ace, and he's going to take down oh, no. five to keep it alive for FaZe Clan. He holds his own. Look at him go. Wow. <laughs> Combat orping B Yeah, rushes. give us that Twist shot. Give it to us. Known for his headshots normally, but even with the big green gun, he will ruin your day. Cool as a cucumber, and that will ruffle Astralis. Decided he's willing oh. to risk it all on this deep angle, and it's given that first kill over. So Jeez. now someone else has got to make up for this. Magic can do pre, might just be those men, as they come in with a few kills apiece. Oh. Twist takes matters into his own hands, and suddenly FaZe Clan might be on their way to their first and only only T-side round. Oh, he's eviscerated them. Four kills, maybe an ace. Zip has snuck up the ladder, but Twist has his right idea, and he's gonna close it out as well. This tournament is full of aces, full of plays, and full of land CS. I wouldn't want it any other way. Phase find a round, all on the back of Twists. And this is anyone's game, as it has been all damn series. Both teams are just pushing each other to the very limits of what they're capable of. We are getting an incredible showing out of both phase. Behind them, the yeah. James has been taken out on the bomb site. They still need to stall on the A side of the map. This is Yukindar freed up. He's trying to get in behind as quickly as possible. Poison's trying to get up short, but the play's now in. Buster, can he do it? He's got one. He's gonna go back for more. A second on a JKS and a third from Buster. What a beast. Poison goes down. Buster with the ace. All five kills.
Buster is in the real camera hours now, and he's just delivering everything. Boy, oh boy. Another race for the tournament, yeah. by the way. Keep that tally going at home. Wow, this is so good for Buster. That shot's nice. Through the smoke. I don't believe he went through the smoke, but he comes away with it. You can though with all the information, so Buster knows he just has to fight, and he fights. He did so much work on that sort of walk-up. Nap on the site which is wasting for so much time, getting so much damage in. At least they found an early return when it comes to the force by the Deagle kill for a liege. Nice shot on Tabson towards outside big will continue the face. I think there's a gap in that smoke, which may have been what the angle was taken there to uh, reveal the headshot. Elias continuing to tap on Sears, so he took a scout shot from uh, Naf as well. Is he mapping in? Khalil's in. got to get out of dodge, take some more damage to Liquid, come up with a man advantage and HP above big in this particular round. Fallen gets forced off angle, opens up Decon door and closes it right behind him and look towards double instead. Orp in, or scout in for Stewie, I should say. Shots out, Tizian catches that frag, finally returns something for Big. Uh, they're just locked out of the bomb site. unfortunately. They can try and come in quite quickly. That's a good kill for Elise again. No plan just yet. Zentaris watching for at least to take space. Made in instead. Stearson wrapping in with a scout. Galil flicks back nice and easy. Low HP for the man. Zentaris and Keto make their way up. Zentaris caught with his back turn. And Keto falls to Elise's ace. Another ace for us today as Liquid take A. Uh, they needed a, a, a play. They needed someone to step up, and Elise was just the guy starting off that round with a deagle kill, being able to follow up, dropping down into the vents, and as soon as he wins that duel out to Dickon, picks up the Galil, and just continues to fire forward. Great stuff from Elise. Hero of the round for Liquid. That's on the bait. This kill involves, and now the B site's open. One player from Tabson on rotation that can get here to try and take some extra frags, but probably not take the round itself. He does get two, so three V2. Now, this position for Tabson to be in, especially if he could follow up on Fallen, but it all comes down to this one kill, and now he needs help. We've got to find a liege next up. Nays turned away from his back towards the quad. A big old gap, smoked back down, tap the bomb. Try to force him forward. See Stewie gets the quadra. Tabson on to get the ace against the liege. Wrapping close. Trying to aggress against the man. He's such low HP as well. Tap the defuse. Try to force him out of position, and Tabson wins it in hole. Ace clutch for him to hold from the man's advantage and get that second for big. Oh, it's another ace of the tournament. There's been so much chatter on the social media for the last couple of days about is this going to be the event that has the most clutches coming through? We just keep adding them to the tally at this point. Unbelievable for Tabson. And yes, those first two kills came in easy. The third frag on Fallen was unexpected. And against Stewie, should not have been found at all. What a round from him. Leading it, Sharks walked on, and Boomich through the smoke with an opening kill. He's got to worry about Catwalk. There's a double push there, and Zywoo does respond. Now it's clearly an AT, and Navi are running through Molotovs for crying out loud. Smoke will land, Kyoji trying to hide below, and he somehow gets out to default, but surely there's no way he's going to live here. Oh, oh, he's gone back up. He just got spammed in this position, and now he's retaken this same angle that they think is clear. I like this at least, right? You're trying to play with the hearts and minds, Oh, an electronic still able to flick onto him. They've got him trapped under Palace, but you're not stuck in here with him. He's stuck in here with you, and now Zai Wu all alone in the 1v2. Na'Vi are bailing. They actually have time to change their minds. They're going back through T-Spawn, but Zai Wu <laughs> trying to remain one step ahead okay. is already here. Bitten perfecto. Have they bitten off more than they can chew? Free kill out of Zai Wu, and now perfecto has to embark on the 1v1. He's got a peek in late. He wasn't with Bit in this 2v1, and that's a bit of a glaring error for Na'Vi. Yeah, I think they thought they could get to B for free at least. So Perfecto was going to run up Catwalk and, and, you know, then one player gets the info, the other can trade from a completely different position. Zywoo's on for the ace. He's been tagged. He's been pushed back. And the question is, where does Perfecto go? He's only got 15 seconds. Zywoo is playing the clock right now. Forget the ace. He wants the round. He needs the round. And in comes Perfecto. Zywoo lets him cross. And he hits him in the air. There's the ace. Finally, Vitality, something to marvel over. It's about time. Not really challenging him just yet. Another flash. Kicker spent most of this round just fully blinded, and finally, it reveals his chance. The kill comes in for Kicker, but Keto's doubled up. He's found two towards long, and that's a huge opening for Big. 
That's what I was concerned about. VP use a lot of their utility just getting into pit, so they don't really have nades to help them in those fights once they start to come through. They also just didn't account for Keto being so far forward. You see Kicker gets that kill on the other player and didn't realize that Keto could so quickly turn around and take him down. This is the response from Big, though. They slow it down. They bring that bomb back towards B. Keto's missed that molly onto Car too, which is a bit of a shame. But VP are still sticking around heavily on this B bomb site. There's a real decent chance for them here, having these orcs in position. But do Big leave B and go back up short, though? Oh, yeah. Because Keto is already up on the A site, and he starts to tell them, empty right now. You cannot could spoil the party, though. He's got a kill on Tapson, just about missing out in a second on a serious inch. They need to get onto the site, but there it is from Kido. Right through CC spawn, your Kindar has been taken out. And now it's the double up setup for the retake. This just isn't looking too likely. Jim knows Kido is down in CT spawn, but can he take him out of the round? He's gonna push forward, Kido. For his 4K, you can't stop Kido. He's an absolute machine right now. This was such a bold round from Kido, and he wants the ace. We've had so many aces so far at Cologne. Could we have another one? We didn't have any in our opening best of threes today. Oh, oh Buster gives away his position. He's going to cross. Oh. Keto with the ace. Keto with the fatality coming in. 11 to 10. Big into the lead by one round. And Keto is an animal. Those long fights coming in, just so good from him. The A play, the heads up play. He did everything in the round. It's not just getting the kills. It's the information plays, the communication, the important fries coming in early to keep them at bay. Because if he doesn't get both of those, they're in a big issue. That play is, is crazy, dropping into CT. That is so bold. A couple of questions to ask, but here they come, straight towards the B site. Obski's not going to get checked, and he's going to get two before Simple connects. Dupree forced to extinguish. They know where he is, and Molly might follow. Safe and sound. Electronic not looking either. The Danes have been given some real opportunities here, some sitters. On to Na'Vi. Simple rock hard place. Great shot, just Magis. On the cross, just the tip of his head. Dupree spotted out. Simple's doing it all. Some great shots to start him off. And time to get the bomb down. Throws a smoke to guys. His cross, you peek in front of it. I like it. Oh, he's such a nerd. Simple with four, looking for an ace clutch. Spectacular to put Na'Vi back in the driving seat of Dust2, and it's just Glaive. He's got the big brain. He's also got the Yorp. And Simple's in a prime position. There should be no way, no hope. He's holding the line. Tunnels is a threat. It's a question of timing here. Glaive crawling in. And Simple collects. Magnificent play from the world's best. Over, and he's not with the pack who are top banana right now. That flash shallow. Boomich trying to peek, trying to locate these defenders. Oh, and they just walk on in. Simple's got one. Glaive's down. It's a huge chance. Dupree pulled in to rotate over. A is very weak right now. Bubski's on this arch side. Magisk, he's done a massive job last round. He's looking to do it again here. Slow towards that balcony position. That nade just shy of the mark. Could have had four defeats attacking up mid, just chunked on down. Starting the wrap. It is under defended. Magisk did so much work for them previously, though. Let's see if he can find it again. Bubski partnered up nicely with Magisk, and the frags come easy again. Dastardly Dane in pit. Maybe there's some more to be said. Oh, and with the USP, it's their favorite weapon, it seems. Simple, I've seen this before. A 1v2 as he plants with low HP. And I don't think Zipex is going to allow it. Bullets are in. He's found himself a weapon. He knows where they both are. Eagle, Eagle. Equip, knocks the head off of the shoulders of Zipex. Mantles up. Oh, my That's God. The clutch. Simple. Second time is the charm. The star shining bright in round 10. The guy is an absolute god. Dude. He is an absolute god. That Deagle switch. Like, he had an M4, but he needs that one click. One click to the dome. He knows where you both are. Forces you off the line. Fires off the shot. Baits you in. Bang. Oi, oi, oi. And then he mantles up perfect with the M4. What a clutch. Reed, four players going right back up onto this site. 
Oh yeah, kick out swinging in, dead at the hands of Bobski. But there are a lot more VP players still occupying this site and occupying your mind if you're Astralis. Sanji with this USP won't let them in just yet. It's gonna take Bobski to overwhelm him. Yakinda dead as well. Bobski having a hell of a pistol round here. A hat trick so far, and he's still got more to offer in this pistol for Buster and Jane. They've got to embark on a very unlikely round here a two on four and a bubski that they've got to stop in his tracks oh. they can't do it he's on for the ace is it another one added to the tally it is bubski all five to find 11 for astralis and open up this second half in one hell of a way for the danish crowd oh that does feel beautiful doesn't it wow what a uh, what a start to a half bubski just hit them with the ie claw in the second <laughs> half man Whoa. Oh, and they were not, Harry. They certainly weren't. VP, I mean, they had everyone there, mate. They had every right to win that round, every chance to take it away, but instead, Bobski. It just felt like they weren't even acknowledging him. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't know how he got away with, like, two of those five kills, but he did. You posted up towards long right now with Axel. Right now, Gambit are chasing their tail. They'd love an opening kill here, and, well, picked on off. Axel oh. immediately goes on down. No response there from Shiro on the 4v5 advantage. They accelerate towards A. Mission accomplished. Axel down. Opening frag found. Charging, stampeding towards Shiro's position. He's looking panicked. Good cover. Nafani provides. Flames will force the fight. He peeks through them. This is nerdy. This is brilliant. At least to find an equalizing 3v3. Yeah, pivoting back again. They're just keeping Gambit moving right now. Carrigan's about to walk into B. No one's there. Hobbit will have a look. Knife out! Knife out still gets the frag. Oh, Hobbit may have just saved their chances of this first round here. Repositions nicely. Just that headshot angle to force the fight. They're hunting for him and he's just- genius. Not anymore. Brokey knocks him off his perch. And the bomb can be planted. Oh, Brokey! For Shiro, and now it's all phase. Inter's looking the wrong way. Trying to adjust, tags him up. It's not a guarantee by any stretch. Smoke to isolate the jewel. He's got a chance here. Inter's... Huge. Eliminated. That's Brokey with the ace right there. Overtime kicks off and Brokey steps up. That is insane. That is an insane round from Brokey. That orb, we've been seeing no impact from it. And here in overtime, he's had enough. He has, and he shut down Gambit immediately out of the gate. We'll see that again from his perspective. He's run boost out, oh, cancels it short, knocks down Axile. The rest fall to him. Look at this. Nafani is second. The rest all occur over on this B site. Oh, he just catches the head. That is huge. That right there is nuts. And Hobbit had done everything right. He just didn't know. Taking some huge liberties. Nico's going to run straight out for the mid to be here. He is so fast, Alex. Oh my God, and just as it blooms, he does get tagged up. It's simple with a very well-managed spray, long range from all the way downtown. Electronic always maneuvering around that. Nexus aware. That movement. Graceful. Yeah, so, so graceful. And here comes the whole squad. Electronic's got nothing to report. E2, unscouted. Rinse and repeat? Yeah, it might have to be. I mean, what have you got? A smoke, a flash, and a molly. It's not even an exec. Well, they've caught them out of position a couple of times on this type of A play. They'd have to do it again. Against Electronic, Simple, both posted up. Fires off a warning shot, and Simple as well does one better. And they're just walking in. Oh, my goodness. He one just more for the ace, Alex. That for... record-breaking ace. He has got the opportunity, and he's going hunting for it appropriately. It's Hunter that could give it to him. Simple to break the record. No one has found four aces at a tournament like this and here it comes a record breaker from simple he takes all five there's only so many words i can use to describe the brilliance on display here tonight simple i mean he makes he makes any superlative feel insufficient at times i can call it majestic i can call him brilliant i can call him a magician an animal a beast a monster they're all there but sometimes they don't even feel like they're doing it justice sometimes just the gameplay does the talking god damn simple's back in the server with 20 from this man straight up tagged up still doing damage still draws first blood this time nexus clawed one back and it's on simple no less they may assume that that was a wide open beast site with simple's death He's walking on in as well. The smoke implies Perfecto's close. Go on, Nexa. He's delivered. G2 given a gift. Needed that. Definitely needed that. And it's all a ruse. The B it's rotation, it. it's in. Oh, oh, another one. Go on, Nexa. One man army here for the G2 army. And now the A site wide open. He'll take another. Go on, Nexa. Four. Give him the ace. Bit walking around in the kitchen. He's not far off. The crosshair was in the right place.
Now that's a confidence booster if ever I saw one. It could be walking into this here as well. Next is still posted up light. Lose him in transition, but this could play in his favor here. That's a response from Nexus. Started this one slow, but the in-game leader steps up in a huge way. He's here to play, and that's the third for G2. Game on. Game on. Another one added to the list. I am Cologne can't stop delivering aces. One on dust two for a record breaker. Now Nexa with a neck breaker. Some great shots. Love the catch as well. He's off to A. He just gets a freebie on the way in. Confidence and jitters need to be nowhere in the conversation for G2 now. Nico, at the start of the map, he showed up with that AK 